Welcome back to another edition of Cook at Chris's Dishes. My name is Vaki Goo. And I have the man flu. It's not that I'm not happy, I just have an ear infection and bronchitis and sinusitis and tonsillitis. I've got every itis known to man. It's a scientific fact that men feel worse when they're sick. Oh my gosh, days. it is a scientific fact. I read that it on women the internet. Who put up with men who are sick feel it worse. <laughs> And welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we cook dishes straight up from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has over 400 recipes and a risin. And you might notice that my voice is a little bit deeper today than it normally is. I want to apologize. We just got back from vacation, and every time that we go on a trip somewhere, I always get sick when we come back. I promise you I will not sneeze in your food or mine. If I do, I promise we'll stop taping. You'll just have to bear with me, because <clears throat> every once in a while, you're going to hear a little rattle in me. But uh, you know what's good for a, an illness, a sickness, an itis? Soup. So today, we're going to be making some stuffed cabbage soup. Whereas, actually, it's going to be called an unstuffed cabbage soup because we're unstuffing the cabbage as we put it in the pot. And we get this derivation of this recipe. Your derivation what? Is what? derivation of recipe. Der we derive, derive the recipe, derive. Like, baby, you derive me crazy. Oh. We're getting this recipe from Busy Day Slow Cooking, which is a cookbook from Gooseberry Patch that they sent us to test out. We like this cookbook so much, we're going to give you a cookbook. Now, if you have not already, not check it out. What? You're going to give one lucky person a cookbook. We could not afford to send everybody mm -hmm. a cookbook. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take, let's get this back. That's right. We're, we'll go in the hole if we do that. On recipes that crock.com, you will notice that there is a giveaway for Busy day slow cooking from Gooseberry Patch. If you have not entered in that contest yet, there's still time. Just a few days. The contest ends May 25th. So I strongly encourage you to enter in on that contest at recipesthatcrock.com. And also, ding, 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 June 1st, we will also close the contest that you knew nothing about because really we knew nothing about it until we talked about it and decided we're also going to give one of our subscribers the very same cookbook. Is it possible that you could be a subscriber and also enter in on the contest at RecipesTheCrock.com? Absolutely. Is it feasible mathematically you could win both cookbooks at the same time? Yes. Would you want to? Maybe if you want to give one to your friends, who knows? But anyway it goes, become a subscriber at YouTube.com slash MikeyGood. And also enter in at RecipesThatCrock.com. As a subscriber, you're automatically entered. So be a subscriber. Uh, a subscriber. So yeah. be a subscriber. Be something. Be something. <laughs> it might be a made-up word in my head, but be it anyway. Now back to the recipe of the unstuffed cabbage soup. You will need the following ingredients, and this is a modification of the recipe that is in the book. It's okay to modify a recipe. If you don't have a certain ingredient, you can use a different ingredient. If you like different ingredients more than other ingredients, it's okay to use different ingredients. If you want to try something new, try something new. We're going to try it just a little bit different because one of the ingredients that it calls for in this recipe is ground turkey. We don't have ground turkey. We don't do ground turkey. We do ground beef. And we also put in a little bit of ground sausage to go with it. If you like ground turkey a little bit better, want to make it a little bit lighter, ground turkey is the way to go. But here's how we're going to do this particular recipe. You need five cups of beef broth. That would be one of these little things, you know, which is four cups and then another cup. So five cups. While you're at it, try to break some of your dishes. Don't do that. Don't break your wife's dishes, fellas. It doesn't end well, trust me. You also need one half a head of cabbage. We have ours already chopped up. You also need one and a half pounds of ground turkey, or in the case of what we're using, we have one pound of our make-ahead ground beef. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back into Cooking Chris's Dishes playlist here over on the somewhere over here. <laughs> Us look like the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. 
if I only had a brain. <laughs> My wife says that about me a lot. No. I uh, know. But uh, we're going to use one pound of our make-ahead ground beef as well as a half a pound of ground sausage mixed together. And we also need a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, one half cup of quick cooking barley, one onion that's been chopped up. Now, again, because we're using our make-ahead ground beef, the onions are already in the ground beef. We also need two cloves of garlic that have been minced, or in our case, we're gonna use two teaspoons of our freeze-dried garlic. And while there's already garlic in our uh, make head ground beef, we're going to use more garlic because we love garlic. We like garlic. Yeah. I think we're half Italian. <laughs> uh, we also need two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of pepper, and one quarter teaspoon of hot pepper sauce. Whatever hot sauce you like, have at it. If you want to use a little more for a little more heat, pop it in there. If you don't like any heat at all, omit the hot sauce. I'm probably going to use just a hair more because I'm making this recipe and I do like a little heat with my soup. So, the first thing we need to do is take our cabbage, one half head, and put it down in the bottom of our crock pot. And one bit of advice, as you can see, that pretty much filled up the crock pot. You need to have a bigger crock pot for this or you need to really start breaking out the calculator and do some math if you have a smaller crock pot and break down the recipe because this is a five quart crock pot as well as the finished product over here that is still hot. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And five quarts, it fills up the pot. So if you have a three quart crock pot, well, you can run the numbers if you want to and try to break down this recipe to shorten it just a little bit. But we're gonna use a five quart crock pot for this. Now, we've got this over here. You have your pound of make-ahead ground beef with your half pound of sausage. You also need to put in the bowl with that your broth. You may need a bigger bowl, baby. I may need a bigger bowl, but I'm going to try and make this fit. Oh, my. Now, if you need, okay. This takes a while. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. There it is. All right. Um, hey, you know what? You're going to need a bigger bowl. I think we could have probably used a bigger bowl than that. <laughs> but I'm st I, there's still room. No, uh, still room. Not for 28 no, ounce can. Not for 28 ounce can. Let's go for a bigger bowl down here. That's what I want to call it. The biggest bowl down here. <laughs> you know, we prepped this recipe. Oh, oh. My. oh, oh. about me Let's not. selling t-shirts on the site and people have said the people have spoken they would take a t-shirt okay I did not mean to bring that up let's go on well to you might not mean to bring it up but while we've got it we're talking in the works uh, between especially me and Aunt Lou <laughs> as far as taking over the making of t-shirts and the selling of t-shirts <laughs> on the site as well as the YouTube oh, channel okay. um, we're talking about possibly doing different sayings um, so Let's just say one of those things might be, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> That's a famous phrase of mine. <laughs> or, I burnt my hands again. Another famous phrase of mine. How do you crock the pot? That's also a, a famous one we've already got on the t-shirt um, that we've given away before. Uh, not quite introduced out to the big public, but there's a few people walking around with a how do you crock the pot t-shirt. So, if you were to get a t-shirt, what would you want it to say? Put it down in the comments below as I go and make another mess. Now you take 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, whatever brand you want. The That's okay, we'll just give this away. <laughs> just kidding. You will not get a tomato stained cookbook if you win. Not intentionally. No, not intentionally. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stir all that in and put in our half cup of the barley. our two teaspoons of sugar mm, that smells good those tomatoes smell really good in there and then two teaspoons of pepper 
I don't know if this is two teaspoons. <laughs> I just normally give it 10, 12 cranks. Right there. <laughs> Reflexes like a cat. Now. Oh, wow. Our minced garlic, one teaspoon, and a two teaspoons. And the thing with cabbage is, cabbage will absorb a lot of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and toss in just a hair more salt into this, like a teaspoon more salt right in there. And then our quarter teaspoon, or however much you like, of hot sauce. That right there is about a quarter teaspoon. Right there's about a half. Okay. And that's how much more that I like. Now I'll stir all this up. Right in there. And the recipe says here to spoon it over your cabbage. As long as you can just pour it. Yeah, there's probably a reason they spooned it because I would imagine this person might be just as messy as I am with it. Before you do that, could you please make a cookbook? She doesn't trust me. <laughs> Product placement. Uh, and now we'll see just how well we do. Oh, yep, yep, got a little oh, bit, a little splatter, a little bit, it's okay. Hey, you know what this kind of looks like? Uh, a stuffed okay. cabbage. Uh, An unstuffed cabbage, that's right. Yeah, I think you mix it up a little bit. Kind of yeah, that barley is on top, and really, it needs to be in there, but it needs to barley be seen. Uh, <laughs> I've been waiting a whole episode just to do that uh, little bit. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. Yeah. And then what you want to do is, other than fling it all over the floor, make the dog happy, is you want to set this on low for eight to nine hours to cook up that cabbage and make it very, very soft. Or you could also cook it on high for about five hours and it'll do the very same thing. So high for five, low for eight to nine. And then toss a lid on it and consider it done. And like I said, we have already made some of this, so I will take this over here. Ooh, that's heavy. Take the finished version, slide it right in here where y'all can see it. Hopefully not on the edge of the counter. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> and that is hot soup, y'all. This one is out of the way. Bang the bowls around. And we'll stir that up. Look at that. All that cabbage is cooked down. You can see it softened up very well. All the meat's cooked up. The barley cooked up along with it. It looks very hot, so you better be careful it's, taking it, you your can bites. See, you can see a steam coming off that. It is very hot. It's very hot on my knuckles right now. And we'll put some of that right in there, just like that. And grab a spoon and give her a taste test. It's going to be really hot. I'll blow on it. Stir it up a little bit more. Oh, it smells really good. Is it hot? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Uh huh. I don't blow on it enough. <laughs> mm. Is that yummy? That's very good. For a guy that does have a cold, that's fantastic. It's hot. It's steamy. It's meaty. It makes it manly. <laughs> the barley's really good in it. The cabbage is really soft. So it does, you know, there's not really much to chew on except some of the meat. It's just really soft in your mouth. Does it's it very like good. It does. No, it tastes like an unstuffed cabbage. Ah. And the crushed tomatoes with the beef broth just make it real soupy and it makes me very happy. Mm. Good job. My wife made that one and it's very, very good. Um, did you put in a quarter teaspoon of hot sauce in it? Mm -hmm. 
can see I don't even really taste the heat. There's no there's no no spice to it at all as far as the heat. So I would, especially to cleanse the sinuses, I will put a little bit more hot sauce in it for my taste. Um, and again, you saw how much salt that I put in that. And there's salt in the beef broth. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's salt also in the ground beef that we used with the sausage. And it's not very salty at all. Like I said, that cabbage will soak it up and really just kind of makes that salt disappear. It's not salty at... It's not not too salty. It's not not salty enough. It's really it's perfect. You can always add more salt. You can't take it out. Mm -hmm. So beef broth is the place to start and then add it from there. And that's the thing about salt. You can add it in at the end if you want to. Or hot sauce, you can add in at the end. I just add some more hot sauce and it's really still not that hot, but it's very, very, very good. Good job. This is definitely a recipe that we'll keep around. Um, and again, I'm going to reiterate that this contest ends May 25th on RecipesThatCrop.com, so enter now. And then also, uh, one lucky subscriber coming June 1st will be notified that they are also going to be getting the very same cookbook, Busy Day Slow Cooking, from Gooseberry Patch. And I personally want to thank you guys again for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me. And we hope that you'll keep coming back and watching as we do more recipes. Also, if you would, subscribe. And not just so you can win a busy day slow cooking cookbook from Gooseberry Patch. But also so you can watch more recipes that we'll be putting on the site. As well as some other things that I do with music and fun things with the kid. And uh, also, if you would, give us a like over at Facebook at Recipes That Croc, as well as Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, which is the music side of me, where we'll also show these recipes, um, as well as uh, some trips on Sundays and some funny things that we do with the family. And uh, again, one more time, subscribe for your chance to win a Busy Day Slow Cooking book, Cookbook from Gooseberry Patch. And uh, we want to thank you guys again for watching. Uh, you keep watching and we'll keep cooking, and all will be well. Thanks again. Bye.